It's International Women's Day today. I am celebrating it by going to two very special events. The first one is called Stitch in Time and it is run by the local enterprise office in Letterkenny and they are having guest speaker Erica Fox from Retro Flame blog. After that I am going to be attending the Women in Business brunch and I'm going to be speaking at it myself so I'm going to be taking lots of tips from Erica during her speech hopefully. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing first. Kind of matching my bedroom here. So I'm wearing this grey leopard print maxi dress. And it has a kind of a split at the front. And then I'm also wearing my black sock bits and both of these are from my boutique. I've just arrived in Letterkenny here for the event with Retro Flame and I'm super excited to hear her talk. She's going to be talking all about her journey to success and I just know it's going to be such an inspiring story and I really can't wait to hear it. Hopefully you can take a little bit from my story and just see how it all happened and hopefully you'll see that it didn't happen overnight and hopefully that will encourage you as well. A lot of my friends were going off to California doing J1s and really hot places and I said no, I'm going to go to New York and I'm going to start interning. I'm telling you straight out, like it was the internships that taught me everything that I know and it made me into the person that I am and of course I did the coffee running and every kind of running buying steamers and you do all that work but like looking back I don't regret any single internship that I did because people always ask me when did you know was the right time to leave your job and go work on your own thing and I said I always say when you're making more money in your side job than you are in your real job. And it got to that stage for me. I now have an agent, I'm able to work with bigger brands. Um, Ken's in the audience, my sister, she works with me full time as well, we got her over. Yes. But if you truly love something and it's truly your passion, like it will work out if you if you work hard enough. You know? So I'm just here with Erica from the Retro Flame. Oh, she's, she's just finished doing an amazing talk, really, really inspiring. So much talking. <laughs> I'm actually on my way to do my talk now and I'm going to ask Erica does she have any tips for me because hers was so good and I need all the tips I can get. <laughs> I, I hope it was good. Um, I think just like thinking who's in the audience and like what you can do to actually like help them like because if it's like a short talk as well you want to just make sure like you're going to get them in that short time um, and just kind of keeping it not too serious too. You're going to be a hard oh, you'll be to amazing. Follow. Oh my god stop. <laughs> Thank you so much. So this is Kaylin. She is Hello. Erica's sister and you all know her from the Retro Claim. Killing how are you find Donegal? Good, I really like it actually so far. It's kind of like Kerry, so I mean I feel a little bit at home here. How do you think the style here compares to style in New York? Everyone's looking great. <laughs> Honestly in New York when you're walking down the street most people are in gym gear, so this is actually a good step up from that. And do you think you're going to come visit Sequence Cinderella Boutique? Hopefully, definitely if we get a chance we definitely will. I'm just on my way overnight to the Women in Business brunch after the most inspiring talk by the Retro Flame but I don't know how I'm going to follow that now. Obviously I got lots of tips from her but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll try and vlog it if I can get my camera set up. When I was studying drama that I got a drive for like an entrepreneurial drive. I really just wanted to be my own bot. In my head, I really just wanted to work in fashion. And I was like, how can I do this living in Bunkrana? I started to follow some of the really big bloggers. And I was like, well, you know what? If they can do it, I can do it. Brands were taking notice. I worked with River Island. I got to review Louis Vuitton's new collection. I graduated in June. And that October, I showed my first collection at Belfast Fashion Week. I was about three seconds away from deleting my blog that night. And I literally, I cried for a week. Then I went into the view section of my website and I saw that I had over a million views that week. At that point, if I had let that criticism hold me back, I wouldn't have a boutique and I most definitely wouldn't be standing here talking to you guys. For me, if I can give you any of you any advice, not the setbacks, take some time out if you need it, but then use them as a driving force to keep going because if I had have taken all those setbacks, I most definitely would not have seen Cinderella Boutique now. I'm back in the car, I had the obligatory trip into Penny's. What a day! <laughs> I'm kind of exhausted now but I think it's because I was so hyped up earlier on about everything. I was nervous about my talk, I was excited to see Retro Flame. So I'm feeling super inspired and motivated and I just can't wait now to put lots of the tips that Erica gave us into action and hopefully some of my tips help to inspire some of you girls that were at the Women in Business brunch.